Who is the best right winger you have ever played against? I had some um, some good game against Chanoy Phillips and I played with him as well here for a few few weeks and I will say the, him because um, he left now and even at QPR we can see the impact uh, he has so uh, he has had so um, yeah I will go for Sean. Do you have any weird pretty much superstition? I'm not that kind of uh, people who just do uh, the same thing because then you know if you don't do it one day uh, you would just keep thinking about what you haven't done and uh, that's terrible so uh, nothing for me on this side. You're a top bloke and a brilliant left back but growing up who was your childhood? team and favorite players. When you're young, you just keep, you know, switching mind and uh, and so for the players. For the team, it always been and still now uh, is PSG, Paris Saint-Germain. And um, I had one player who used to play for Paris. He was a Brazilian, number 10, um, and he was Valdo. Um, that was him for, for a long time and then I signed for Arsenal and, uh, and, I, and I had the, the, the chance to, uh, to play with Thierry Henry, which uh, from that moment changed a little bit my mind because uh, not for the, for what I was doing on the pitch because that everyone knows but it's more for for the the, the professional he was you know uh, outside football in his life and his uh, every choice he decided to, to take for for his career was uh, was a good one so I guess for any football young football player it will be a, this would be a good example. What do you plan to do after your your retire? I miss a little bit the sun so um, I guess I will I will be heading toward. Uh, a warmer place, but um, I still got a few years left, and um, and for now I just want to uh, keep playing good for, for for my club, and hopefully we can have success. Cheddar or brie? It's difficult. I'm not a big fan of uh, of those, but uh, if I have to 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 decide one of those, uh, I will go for the brie one. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, I will go for this one. What music do you listen before the game? We have the, the iPod, and usually I think it's Nigel or. or or Joe who are uh, putting the, the the iPhone in the music in uh, in the dressing room, sorry. And uh, there is a bit of uh, everything, you know, house music, uh, rap, R and B. I think it's a, it's a list for everyone. But uh, on my own, I listen for uh, some music from where my my dad is from, uh, French West Indies. It's uh, it's called Zouk, and it's uh, it's a uh, it's a slow music that you can dance on and uh, and nice word for the for the ladies. So. Uh, yeah, that's the kind of music I, I'm listening. What is the longest river in the world? Wow, I've got no idea. I couldn't tell you, and uh, it's too early in the morning. I'm still away. I'm still uh, sleeping, so I couldn't tell you. If uh, we open your fridge right now, what will we find? Well, I'm still living at the hotel, so I guess you will be uh, finding uh, vodka, whiskey, all the small bottle that you know hotel can give you. So. That's, that's the only thing I have in the fridge. Uh, some sweets, some uh, nuts, like mini bar. When you were a boy, what was your favorite thing to do besides football? It's difficult, but uh, I used to, and I still like to do um, some uh, cycle in, um, I don't know, in the forest and, uh, and do things like this. So it's still doing a sport, but um, yeah, I was, uh, I, was, I was being a psycho boy when I was uh, younger, so I, I will give you this one. Bonjour Gaël, quel est votre plat préféré en anglais? This one that just asked me which meal, English meal is my favorite one. If I'm honest, I never tried um, any um, fish and chips, which everyone is telling me I should have tried. So uh, that's not this one and uh, I don't know. I like uh, I like Jamaican food and most of the time when I have day off I go for this one or in the morning when we are off and we haven't got training and game I go for the English breakfast so uh, I think I will go for this one because uh, I go for the bacon I go for the beans I go for the the sauce and I go for everything that uh, is not really good for for a sportman but uh, it's nice it's tasty and uh, it's quick to do so what Manchester City striker give you the most trouble defending during practice? Each of them uh, got some uh, qualities uh, that you have to adapt quick on the pitch. Example: Sergio is really quick on the first few meters when he push when he pushes the ball, and that's uh, that's difficult to uh, when you stop when you know, on your when you stop when you know, on your toes to uh, to deal with this. David is uh, David is um, really lively, so um, it's difficult. He like to. Uh, to cut inside, go outside and come back again and go again outside. So 
it's hard and then uh, you have the, the the bigger one like uh, like Edin who is um, if you compare to me uh, just a little bit stronger than me and uh, and bigger so all of them got uh, different qualities that uh, can put you in trouble so you just have to try and uh, adapt to the quality but uh, overall uh, I think I'm, I'm doing well in training uh, even if no one is uh, 100%. <laughs>